or to the back side looking for the wedding sweep as his opponent looks for a Dars. And now what Eddie does is he's so flexible, he back rolls right into an armbar. Check this out. And catches it. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, coach. Don't get coach naked. Brown. <laughs> Brown. Yeah, that was, that was a really good round. Got that knee bar. Yeah. Days. Are we recording? Okay. Hey, how's it going, guys? Teach me grappling. I'm back. I'm Brian Peterson. Again, I'm going to bring you guys Eddie Diaz now. We're going to show you guys Eddie Diaz's amazing creation. Okay, um, he was able to hit this armbar. I'm gonna show that clip to you right now. My wedding sweep. If you guys have seen the wedding sweep videos, here it is. Eddie's one of my best wedding sweep guys. He's pummeling his right hand under to the back side, looking for the wedding sweep as his opponent looks for a Dars. And now what Eddie does is he's so flexible, he back rolls right into an armbar. Check this out. And catches it, so. He is killer with that move, and that's something he's done. It's not a fluke. It's something that he does in training regularly. So it's something that I'm not able to duplicate myself, but um, he's great with it. All right, you guys saw that clip? Here we are now. We're going to teach it to you. Um, I've got uh, Eddie here. What we're going to do is get into what's called the wedding sweep. Okay, this is kind of a, a sweep that I kind of came up with, but, but uh, I'm sure... You know, I'm the one that we coined the name here at PG. Um, I'm sure that somebody else does it every once in a while, but it is something that kind of like I put together from years of training and, and figuring things out. If you guys want to check out those wedding sweep videos, you can always look for them on my channel. I've got several wedding sweep videos. So basically what the wedding sweep is an alternative to going to the dog fight, okay? Um, normally you get an underhook and then whether you're in half guard or if you're in side control, this guy gets a wizard because he doesn't want you to take his back. So he gets a wizard, <clears throat> a wizard, and if you get up, let's say you hook my leg and we go dog fight. We go to the dog fight. This is still really good position and everybody should learn this position. I'll probably have videos on the dog fight soon. But what happened was I, in my training, I started to want to steer away from the dog fight. The reason why is because I started to feel like it wasn't as dominant as it could be. It was more of a 50-50 position. And that's true if the other person's really good. So for example, if you're good at the dog fight in, in Eddie's position, you might think, oh, I'm so good at this. I sweep everybody. I reverse everyone from here and I get reversals. But when you have a guy who's really good and punishing with the wizard, it can be rough. Okay, you get a really good wrestler or you get a judo guy and he will slam you down so many times as you're trying to put your leg up and drive and do all this, he will uchimata you. And then you'll try to roll him. You'll go, oh, that's no big deal. I know how to roll and then the guy will base. And then you'll come back up to take his back again. He'll get another wizard. And this process gets repeated a lot. And it, like I said, it's the best description for me. It can be punishing. You can just get beaten up by getting slammed back into the mat by a really good judo guy, a really good wrestler. So what I started to do is I didn't want to do the, I didn't want to go to the dog fight anymore. So I started pummeling this hand under the leg like this. Okay, you see that? So it's, it's totally different because normally this arm is between here and you have an ankle with your leg. But now, instead of going here and then trying to get up like the dog fight, like that, you can hold the leg with your left hand. Yeah, there you go. He pummels his right hand under. So I pummeled it under, and then he releases my leg. And then when he releases my leg, I try to, he hits that high bridge, and he gets the deep grip. Now, let's see that deep grip. Come on over here, son. You get uh, where the arm is. Mm -hmm. See, the deep grip is with his right arm. And this, this suits Eddie really well because he's so long. He's very flexible. He's very long. He can reach super deep. He can even lock his hands. 
real tight. And sometimes that lock makes it where I can't turn this way anymore. It forces where I have to turn this way. And then this gets into other situations of the truck and so on and so forth. We won't go into that. Okay. So because he's here, this guy tries to play the field with a wizard. And I'm trying to not let Eddie chase my back because if Eddie chases my back, he could roll me. Now he can roll me with ease using this grip. You see this grip now, as the wedding sweep comes on top, you're free and clear of the leg. It's like a leg drag. You, your arm is under the leg, okay? It's not in between the legs like here. It's not here, okay? It's on the backside, okay? So let me show you guys now. Let me show you guys uh, like an arm bar that I would do here. I will get into my wedding suite, roll the guy over, then once I roll him over, he still has a wizard, okay? And because his arm is still putting, applying pressure, he may even be trying to roll over to his belly and like sweep me, like come up on the wizard like that. That's fine. Now what I would do is I would just hop up, throw my knee up here and step over, and then I would have an arm bar, okay? And that's pretty standard. A lot of guys uh, already know that. A lot of guys would do that. But even like if you were passing the guard and the guy had an overhook on my arm and then you pass the guard, if, he, if you can get him to this side, you can step over that head and create an arm bar. That's common off of the wizard. It's also common off of the dog fight. People jump into arm bars. But then Eddie Diaz came up with his own little entry for it. And it's pretty awesome. Okay, so check this out. He gets the underhook, I get the wizard. He goes wedding sweep position with his right arm. And then now, if, as he's chasing my back, he's gonna roll me, right? So what ends up happening is I don't wanna get rolled. Right now we're parallel. See how we're both facing this direction? So I wanna turn and go perpendicular. So don't do it yet. So I wanna turn like this. So now, Sash, come on over here. So now watch, when he tries to roll me, I have balance with this hand, okay? And I'm using my wizard so he can't get up. But now Eddie, instead of chasing my legs, go ahead Eddie, let the cat out of the bag. He just goes right into that arm bar. Look at how sweet that is. Go back, do it again. He's here, boom. And look at my hand. My hand is on the mat, so I'm not defending the wizard arm from getting arm barred. Okay, I'm not defending it. Because right now he's walking around to, to, to take me to roll me. I'm gonna check the roll. And I base all that weight's on my hand. Now he just tucks and rolls up into a ball. And boom, I end up here. He's rolling me over. And I end up getting caught. It doesn't matter how you do it. You could roll the guy, you could finish from your back. You know, he gets the underhook, he goes wedding sweep. Boom, I get that wizard. Boom, he can finish me right here. Okay? So, I'm sorry, Eddie, why don't I let you speak? I, I, I kind of taught your move, man. Not even behind what? the scenes, this is the man right here. No, 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 no. Hey, this is only variation. What, what, anything you want to, like, maybe you should teach it now and like, um, and, or, or talk about things because things that you do that I you feel. I think it's, it's just baiting them with his wedding suite. Like, for like this, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to go. It's like, you're going to get the sweet oh. So then like, they're walking away. As they walk in, just cut the corner. Yeah, so it's a sharp corner too because I'm coming right into it. Yeah. Okay, and it's it's real hard with that weight you have. Yeah, the pressure. My, my weight is on my left hand. Right. And then I can't. Because you're committing with that wizard to do the dump. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. it's it's a really good move. Um, again, Eddie just caught his first one in competition, but it's something that he catches in practice all the time, so he's killing with it. Um, Hope you guys can uh, learn something from this and maybe you guys can add, add it to your game. Let, I wanna show you guys, like, my, I'm like 40 years old, I'm not super old, but I'm having low back problems every once in a while and it takes me a while to warm up. I'm decently warm, so I have a lot of trouble doing this move. So if you guys have some trouble doing it, make sure you're nice and loose. Um, if you're not as limber as Eddie, um, you may struggle like I do. I try to get in here, See, I'm trying to get the deep grip and I'm trying to chase, but he cuts that angle. And then, so as I'm here, you see my bridge? I'm gonna drop my butt and I'm gonna tuck. As I tuck, bring it up. 
Um, if the guy stays down real long, you might go, oh man, I can't get it. You know, when you guys are here, but you got a pendulum in your legs. Yeah. So you guys can come all the way out. And now I'm right here controlling that thumb. Finishing that guy. Okay? Um, That's huge. I, if you would have seen me this morning, it would have looked like this. This morning I was looking like this. Oh, like, oh, I can't get my legs over the head. So if you guys feel that way, we, we gotta make sure that you guys drink a little bit of caffeine and loosen up your body, get a good warm up. That way you guys can swing. And then also if you're flat on your back, it might be a little harder. But if I can go a little bit more to the side, yes. you know, I might be able to, my body might be able to make the room to, to do it a little bit more. But if you see Eddie, it's just super smooth when he does it. Eddie, talk about that leg swing. Yeah, do, yeah, do, do yours. Oh, so it's the way you do. just swing. Yeah, look at that. It's like swing. And oh my gosh. And then you go back to the Oh, just straight. Yeah. I think that's kind of how you caught the guy in the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much exactly like that. Right. So, awesome. Nice All right, you guys. Thank you so much, Eddie. You're the, the man, dude. The man, right Come, here. No, no, this guy's his own genius in his own right. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Please click that link down below at Patreon and PayPal. Subscribe to this channel, like the channel, like this video, share with your friends, and keep contributing. Every, every one of you that contributes to this channel, you guys help me bring you guys this stuff every single day. We have lots of videos. Go and check out the whole library on this channel. Tons and tons of videos there for you guys to watch and learn some great technique. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Out. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. That's awesome stuff.